Taylor Guitars has just released this new Builder's Edition 816 CE with this unique feature. We're gonna tell you all about it, but already this has been a polarizing guitar. The last time they introduced such a controversial model was the T5, and we know how that turned out. So stick around, we're gonna tell you all about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to our channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and hit that like button, and feel free to comment below. We'd love to hear from you. Today, we are looking at this new model from Taylor Guitars. It is a Builder's Edition 816 CE. Now, let's start off with the 816, all of the Grand Symphony models, the, this whole body shape really, now features V-Class bracing, okay? So that is one of the big headlines, is V-Class bracing is now in all of the models, all of the body shapes across Taylor's entire US built lineup. Now, let's get to some of the specifics, and uh, it's not understating it to say there are some new unique things going on with this guitar. Now, for the most part, it looks very traditional Taylor. It is a grand symphony body, spruce, rosewood, with a sharp Florentine cutaway. But of course, that's not the whole story. Before we dig into all of the specifics about what's going on here, let's talk about some of the other features. It is a builder's edition, so it has a silent satin finish on the body of the guitar. The sides or the, the binding for the guitar has been chamfered to be rounded and softened. The wing bridge uh, has been softened as well. And there's just beautiful appointments throughout. The tone woods are different on this as, uh, from the models in the past and in the rest of the 800 series. So we still have East Indian Rosewood back and sides with this pale maple binding. The top is now Lutz or Lutz spruce as opposed to Sitka spruce, which is typically in this series. Um, like I said, V-class bracing, so more volume, more sustain, improved intonation as well. The things that we have seen as hallmarks for this new bracing pattern that Taylor developed. On the body, over here, we have a Florentine cutaway. And we don't. And we do. And we don't. And we do. So if you've ever been, you know, kind of at that crossroads, should I get a cutaway on my guitar or not, Taylor has built the guitar just for you. Um, this is a new style of cutaway. It is called the sound port cutaway, or the beveled sound port cutaway, is how Andy Powers put it in a recent video with guitar.com. And there's a question mark in that of not sure what to call it, but we know what it does and what it is. Now, some people have not liked this feature. They're not sure what to make of the aesthetics. I'm kind of a traditionalist, but I'm not. So by that I mean I don't really care what the guitar looks like per se, within certain parameters, obviously, but I, I, if it makes a difference, if there is function leading to form, I'm down, I'm there for it. And that's what's going on here. So on a darkened stage, right, this looks like a Florentine Cutaway 816. But like you've already seen, the back is completely solid. solid. The Cutaway is really a bevel here that's going on with this inlay of ebony, and there's a sound port. So let's talk about the sound port, its placement and what it's supposed to do. So if you don't realize this already, what you hear and experience from your acoustic guitar is very different from what people standing in front of you or your audience experiences out of your acoustic guitar. To deal with this fact, lots of builders have tried using sound ports like this one to direct some of that sound back to the player so that you get a fuller, maybe more accurate experience of what you're playing. Now, a lot of times I've seen those right here, right on the upper bounce side of the guitar facing the player. Sometimes it's down here. Kevin Ryan does a beautiful thing with an armrest and uh, sound ports. Epaulets on old ovations have been there for a long time. All of these have been one part ornamentation, but another part, this goal of trying to get some of that sound to you. Now, Andy Powers has gone on record as saying that he's found 
that sometimes, depending upon where you've placed that, you can get certain transient effects with the sound of the guitar. In other words, it emphasizes certain frequencies that you don't necessarily want to or intend to emphasize. So maybe the experience that you're getting is not true to what the guitar is doing. Here's the thing about this. Given its placement, it really doesn't look like this is for the player. And yet it, it, it is. I invite you, if you get a chance to put your hands on one of these guitars, to do this. To sit with it in your lap and to just pick some open notes. And as you pick those open notes, cover it and uncover it. And you're going to hear something. Here's what's cool about this. When it's not covered, when you're not thinking about it, it's not really apparent. And that's really how it should be. The fact that it's there from an oral standpoint, from, from this listening standpoint, should be transparent. It shouldn't be really obvious that there's sound coming from an area other than the sound hole. But when you cover it, you realize that now there's something lacking from what you were hearing. There's less openness. What we experienced in trying this ourselves is that this sound port really gives you, yes, more volume, but not really just more volume. It's really just more open like this. You're hearing sound more around you, more enveloping. And then I experienced a, this kind of strange physical response when I covered it. I kind of have expected to feel pressure on my hand and I, and you kind of do, but then you almost feel it like pulling. There's almost like, it's very subtle kind of sucking motion in the guitar. And it kind of makes sense if you think about it. The guitar acts like a diaphragm. The top is moving. It's, it's pumping air and the air is coming out of the sound hole. If you ever had two doors in your house, you close, you open one and it closes the other and vice versa. There's something to that effect going on here. And that's probably really happening all over the guitar, but because this is now an area that's open, when you cover it, you can feel that. And when you remove it, now that air that's been kind of pulling out this way is freer to redirect here and you just hear it. That's a lot to say. It's a very cool experience. So whatever you think of how it looks, it's really cool in application and to play this. And what I like is that it's not specific to this builder's edition. The K26 CE that was also introduced, which is not a builder's edition guitar, also has that feature. So, really cool. There's subtle changes to the inlay on the neck. You have Goto tuners here at the top. Again, that beautiful satin finish. It's all softened. There's a wonderful playing experience here. And there's something else that we should talk about here is that the scale length and the string gauge has been changed from what Grand Symphony models had before. So the scale length is slightly shorter and the string length has been changed to light gauge strings. Now for me initially, being used to playing some of their Grand Symphony bodies over the years, that was not uncomfortable, but a little different. It feels like a grand concert feeling somewhat because of that shorter scale and the lighter gauge string. And yet the larger body still resonates with a lot of volume and a lot of dynamic range for you as the player. It's a fantastic guitar. So you really need to get one in your hands to experience it. As we go through this playing demo, I will attempt to do some of that with covering of the sound hole and hopefully you'll be able to hear what I'm talking about. Let's check it out.
So there you have it. Taylor Guitar's new Builder's Edition 816 CE with that sound port cutaway. There's something that strikes me about this guitar, and really, it's not just this guitar. When I think about it, it's probably part of the DNA at Taylor. And it is this juxtaposition between really pushing the envelope, trying new things, looking for new building techniques, design, philosophy, methodology, what have you, to really push the flat top acoustic guitar further. And yet, to have one foot also firmly planted in some of the traditional aspects of this instrument, like keeping it all wood. They could have, say, gone with carbon fiber or something weird like thin heat-treated aluminum, who knows, but instead they've made an effort toward conservation of tone woods to ensure that guitars in the future are made with wood. Um, they could have changed dramatically the way the guitar looks, and yet really the changes, even this one, are fairly subtle in the grand context of things that are going on in flat top acoustic guitar design. There are pretty weird guitars out there if you really dig into uh, some of the things on the internet and things builders are doing, which are all very cool, but definitely very different. For a lot of ways, this guitar looks very traditional, and yet there are so many ways in its design, its execution, and in its ex experience that it's not. So, all in all, I'm a fan. I like what they continue to do with the Builder's Edition, which is to bring some nuanced uh, changes to the design of the guitar, all to benefit the player. And at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. So, I'm excited about this and uh, the signal of maybe what's to come in the future. If you have any more questions about this guitar, here's what you do. Go to our website, alamomusic.com. You can take a look at all the specifications and pre-order this as they are not available in stores yet at the time of us filming this. this. I don't get to keep this guitar, unfortunately, but they will be available very shortly. So if you would like to have one, make sure that you go and you pre-order. If you have any more questions about these, you'd like to pick our brains about the sound port, whatnot, you can message us online, comment below, come into one of our stores or give us a call. We are here to help you. In fact, if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, turn on notifications, and like the videos and comment below because this channel exists for your benefit. We want to help you find the perfect guitar for you. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much you pay for it, no matter what it's built with or who made it, the best guitar in the world is the one that you're making music on. And I believe that happens when you find the right guitar for you. So stick around, come see us often. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.